This is the Jocko Underground Podcast, number 20. Echo Charles and I sitting here getting ready to talk about some things. We're kind of talking about things rolling into this. Here, here's the topic that I'm gonna bring up. Because it's something that we need to think about. So we all talk about, well, you, I, you know, I talk about, gotta be humble, right? Sure. Gotta be humble. Humble, we can get humbled, which can be a positive thing. Oh, you know, that I was humbled in this game because I thought I was pretty good, but then I got smoked. So I got humbled, now I need, to, I, know, I need to go back and practice more. But there could be a line that gets crossed from time to time. Mm-hmm. From humbled to humiliated. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you why I'm bringing this up. Uh-huh. A guy named Dean Lister. Mm-hmm. Dean Lister. So we were training the other day. Now listen, for, since the beginning of time of Dean Lister and I training for 25 or 26 or 27 years together, if I have a really good day and he has a really bad day, it's a pretty good scrap, right? Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. If I have a really good day, I'm on, I'm fresh, I'm warm, I'm feeling good. Yeah. If I have a really good day and and on top of that, he has a really bad day where uh, he's tired, yeah. worn out, doesn't want to train, you know, whatever. Yeah. Mentally worn down. If that's the situation, we might have a good match, right? Any other situation, he's gonna he's gonna kind of crush me. If I'm having a bad day mm-hmm. and he's having a good day, it can be a real problem. Yeah. So the other day, he was not only this might sound strange. He was not only having a good day; he was like in a playful yet punitive mode, uh-huh. where because you know, like I will I'll get my digs on Dean Lister, right? Whether they're verbal, you know, or, or it's on the mat. Like, hey, when, when I have the upper hand, I'm gonna capitalize on that. Yeah, okay. When he has the upper hand, he's gonna capitalize. Yeah. But like I said, if he has the upper hand, it's a much, it's much more up. <laughs> yeah. So he was just ragdolling me, yeah. ragdolling me. Yeah. Uh, he was holding me by my, be- we were in gi, he was holding me by my like belt and lapel. My my lapel was somehow like wrapped around my leg, and and he was oh, dragging me around the mat, mm. just laughing at me. Yep, that's bad. So now that's you bad. might think, okay, Jocko, you've been I, I, look. I've been training jujitsu for a long time. Okay, physically, I work out a lot. Right, so I'm not in bad condition. Right. In fact, I would venture so far as to say, if if Dean and I were in like a fitness competition, right, mm-hmm. I would probably beat him in quite a few things. There's a couple things that he is mutantly strong at, yeah. but broadly speaking, now you would never feel that on the mat. Yeah. If you rolled with him and you rolled with me on the mat, you'd be like, Jocko's weak. This guy is can can must be able to clean and jerk nine thousand pounds. Yeah, That's yeah, what yeah. he feels like yeah. on the mat yeah. for sure. So it's not like I'm exponentially weaker than him. It's not like I got, ga- I wasn't even gassed. That's a really scary thing. I wasn't even gassed. Yeah, I was bad. just, I, w- I was helpless like a child. Like a child. <laughs> and I'm a 230 pound man that's been training <laughs> jiu-jitsu for a really long time. So, and you know, here's the thing. I mean, I know the deal. Like, I'm having fun. Like, I'm laughing. I'm like, yeah, this sucks. We're with Wes. Mm -hmm. Wes is just like, yeah, this is just, this is (laughs) unfortunate to watch. It's just a bummer. Like, (laughs) hey, I'm sorry that this is happening. (laughs) That's the way it is. So, here's the deal. The training ends, you know. We, we, then he showed me a couple things. You know, he's like, oh, here's something, here's something. You know, we, we work through some moves and he's an incredible instructor. Um, but then I had to go home. And the drive home, <laughs> the drive home, which isn't a far drive, it takes me, you know, 10 minutes. Yeah. It seemed like 10 hours. Yeah, that's real. That part of it. It seemed like 10 hours, and I was questioning, what is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? How did this even happen? Yeah. Am I even a person? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Am I, have I wasted my whole life doing something for no reason, and I'm a loser? Yeah. 
So, you know, I took that long 10 hour drive home <laughs> in my mind. <laughs> yep. And what are you gonna do? So I, I figure it's a good topic to talk about because mm-hmm. it happens in all aspects of life, right? You mm-hmm. show up to do a presentation at work and you bomb it. You go up and talk to a, a, a female and you, you know, she looks at you like whatever, whatever these series of rejections are that are gonna happen. These, these not just humbling moments, but it's one step further. Like it's yeah. one thing, you, you know, you're young and you go up to a girl to talk to her and she says, hey, you know, I have a boyfriend, but nice to meet you, right? Okay, yeah. that's cool. Yeah, yeah. And maybe it's a little bit stronger than that. Maybe it's like, hey, listen, I'm not really looking for, you know, a, a dude right now, but later. Yeah. But it could just be like, why do you think you are on a level where you would be talking to me, right? right. Could be some crazy, right? Yeah, yeah. Could be, you know, same thing at work. Like you could, look, you mess up and you know, the boss says, hey, hey man, you need to tighten it up. And you're like, yeah, sorry, I, I, need, to, I need to prepare way more. Or it could be like, hey man, I don't know if I'm gonna let you present in front of clients again. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Kind of ever. So, what are we gonna do? Um, I, I just have to say, like, step one, you gotta get back on the horse, right? You heard that expression before, of right? Course, you fall yes. off the horse, you got dinged up, yep. your ego's dinged up. I was actually looking forward to my next training session. Cause I'm, yeah. I'm like, there's no way it's going that bad. There's yeah. no way I could train with anyone in the entire world and it's gonna go that bad. Yeah, It was bad. So you gotta, you gotta put yourself into the mode of like, okay, had a bad day, uh, I had it. Do you remember Shandao? Do you remember him? Mm-mm. Alex Shandao mm. was his nickname. He's a jujitsu guy. Mm. And he was with us at Fabio Santos. And um, he would say, you have days and days. That was what he would say. Basically, he was trying to say, you have good days and bad days, but he'd just say, you <laughs> okay. had days and days, right, which cool. is, is legit, right? Yeah, you, yeah. Those kind of days could be anything. <laughs> so it's true. the truth though. You have yeah. days and days. Yeah. So sometimes you have days and days. The good days, cool, we're all stoked. We don't need to worry about them, all good. If you have mm-hmm. one of the other days, yeah. then you gotta put that, you gotta say, okay, we reached a new low. Yep, <laughs> and it's time to start climbing up again, and it's okay. You learn something, and I did. Yeah. I learned. I did learn a couple things. You know, I he gave me a couple grip things, t- t- talked to me about my hip displacement. You know, all these code words. Mm-hmm. So you learn, but I just want to let everybody know that there's days and days, days and there's days. sometimes you get humbled, and sometimes you get straight up humiliated, yeah. and it's okay. Get back on the horse, see what you can learn, mm-hmm. and the worst thing you could do, the worst thing you could do on that drive home is say, this isn't for me. You know what I mean? Yes. And that, that has to happen to people, where they just say, you know what, I'm done. I, I, this isn't worth it. This yeah. isn't, whatever you're doing. You know, you try to win a race, you don't win it. You, try, you know what I mean? You get to a point where you say, you know, this just isn't for me. That's mm-hmm. what you gotta be careful of. Mm-hmm. Pick up the. You gotta gotta get your gear back on. You that drive home. And, <laughs> you know, obviously, you know, you you say you got humiliated. Obviously, not a common thing. Um, I would say once a quarter, maybe twice a quarter. <laughs> quarter, sure. Right. So, like yeah. once or twice every three months. Yeah. I'm having a bad day. Dean's having an awesome day, and he's in a in a comical mood, right? Because yeah. he thinks it's funny. Yeah. And, and he's he wants to laugh. Yeah. Which is also additional humiliation. Yeah. <laughs> and what, I mean, not to go too deep on the <laughs> dynamics, is you have a, so it's gonna depend on your personality too. So yeah. Dean has that personality where he'll, eat, uh, that, per, that, that laughing part, that joking mm. part of it, um, he, he is pretty much from the beginning always had that attitude with me yeah. and he'll, I think because I dig it. I, I I feel like I have that same thing where if someone's talking to me, like joking about it, mm-hmm. like telling me how oh, that 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 attempt sucked or yeah, something and yeah. it's saying it, it makes it more fun. Yeah. Like just a funner yeah, 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 thing. Yeah, yeah. True. Otherwise, and this I'm putting this extreme just for the example, but otherwise it feels kind of like, oh, like this means so much mm-hmm. if I beat you or if you beat me or whatever. This means so much. There's a lot of the line. And I don't really like that feeling in <laughs> when I'm training with my friends anyway. Uh, it's not, you know. I, what so, do I do? Uh, you do both, but you don't do it while you roll. Oh, you do it yeah, between yeah, the yeah. rolls. Yeah. You'll like give looks and be like, oh, 
fuck how did that feel or something like that <laughs> so i dig it and i, I like tr- it you know what i try and do i try not to get the emotions into it right yeah i'm trying not to like uh, say something and be I'm trying not to be snarky about the whole scenario. You know what I mean? Yeah, except for with one person Dean Lister Yeah, like if he's having a bad day and I'm having a good day. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna talk some shit Yeah, but so you talk shit. Well, it's more enjoyable though, right? Yeah, Don't yeah, you yeah, think? yeah, it's just fun. Yeah, so it's gonna depend on your personality Like I can't wait till I have a good day and he has a bad day <laughs> in the near future. <laughs> yeah so I hope um so either way either way when you you know what though like it's crazy how like when you're not rolling or when it doesn't happen to you your brain is all clear like oh yeah you have good days and bad days you got Mm -hmm. days and days right Mm -hmm. now like Mm -hmm. that's actually a good one that i'm gonna i'm gonna incorporate now but it's easy to be like yeah you have good days and bad days or when someone else goes through it hey bro don't worry about Mm -hmm. that you know like you you know you 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 know you've been training this for a long time you gotta know you got good days and bad days you know but when it ha- the day it happens to you and the weird thing, it's weird on the drive home, bro. Yeah. You feel it. And it's almost like, no, bro, I don't even know if I even can do jujitsu anymore. <laughs> like, I know all the moves. That, like, I think yeah. I do, but, like, man, I did. And that's every single time, man. Yeah. And I think even every level, I think. Mm-hmm. White belt is, like, all the time, and you're like, man, I suck at this. Mm-hmm. When you're, you know, you make yourself, or you make your way up the ranking or whatever, and that happens, it's, like, it's almost more painful because you're like, oh, yeah, I have a black belt. And I've never heard of a black belt getting treated the way I just got treated. I never mm-hmm. even heard of it. Yeah, I got that. Like you, sometimes like when you're in your mood or whatever, mm-hmm. like you'll get me with that guillotine like eight times in one round. Mm-hmm. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's yeah. more than one a minute. Yeah, that's a lot. And I'll have that feeling like like <laughs> am I in this feeling like I have a black belt from Jocko himself, <laughs> and I literally have no physical capability or mental <laughs> capability to stop him from choking me out eight times. In you know what minutes. I just realized? You no, know, I said I don't like to be snarky. You know what I realized? I'm actually doing is I'm letting that just rug around in your own head without yeah. saying anything. About Painful. It. For real. I'm the savage. I'm like, bro. I'm like, yeah. And so it's real though. It's real. Mm-hmm. But you're right though. At the end of the day, it's like you know. And this is me being totally detached because mm. I probably feel that way worse than you when I drive home. Um, where, like, I know, like, you know how good I am or am not, you know. So I can't be, like, trying to brag to you how good I am or mm. trying to, you know, because you know. Bro, we've been freaking training together literally for since I started, mm. since I was a white belt. Yeah. So you know, nothing I can say or do is going to give you the impression now that I'm all of a sudden freaking awesome. And, you know, so it's like you kind of got to keep that in in mind, you know, so it kind of puts everything into perspective. And, yeah, man, you freaking that those bad days are going to freaking hurt. And it's it kind of makes me feel good that you had that day recently. I'm good. Because, Brian, you deserve it sometimes. You know what else? Yeah, thank you. Uh, I'm so I've had so many of those days that I already kind of know about them. Right, I yeah. like I'm making I'm sort of making a bigger deal out of it to explain because I know that people the first time that happens to you in any environment, you might think, yeah. like this this is just me I'm the only yeah. person that's ever getting, been humiliated like this. Yeah, I've been humiliated enough times that it's like oh you know what yeah cool it's not I a know, shock. I, yeah, it's not a big shock to yeah, my system. Yeah. My drive home nowadays isn't it's ten minutes. It doesn't seem like ten hours. It seems like twenty minutes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's, it's, there's some extra time there running around. There's some ideas bouncing oh, yeah. around in the head. Yeah, some excuses are coming in. Right, oh. there's some excuses rolling in. <laughs> you know, yes, well, sir. you know, Dean's been yeah. doing this, and well, you know, yeah. he's ball. Uh, you know, I have a, you know, I have to work. Yeah, had a he just gets to do yeah you know, all those things. Oh yeah, well, and they're all lies. They're all lies. It's all part of the game, right there, though. But the um and and that does apply to everything, kind of like how you're saying in the beginning. Kind of applies to everything. This is when it'll it can shock you, even if you're quote unquote used to it. Is when you're on a run, you're on a streak mm. of just killing it. Whether it be jujitsu or at work is a good mm. one, where like and then you mess up or you, I don't know something happens or whatever. Or in jujitsu, yeah, you you have a straight up bad day, and you kind of get shocked. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh my gosh, it was all a lie. You know, me telling myself whatever. That happened to me when I was purple belt with Greg McIntyre. I was, I was competing a lot. I was winning Mm -hmm. on the run, on the, on a run big Mm -hmm. time. And Greg train humiliated you. Great. And he even told me later that he had heard about it, you know, and was like, oh man, that's good. You know, like maybe, you know, he could be a good training partner. But he was gonna kind of bring it next time I'm we trained. Check. <laughs> oh yeah, and, and I Jeff Glover said, "I'm gonna break it off." 
<laughs> break him off. Yeah. Break him off. Yeah. Bro, he broke me off so hard, like real, like methodically too. You know how when someone's there to break you off, you kind of know, you can feel it. Like, mm. oh, okay, this guy, I see it. I get it. Like, you're going to bring it to show me or teach me a lesson or just show, you know. You're going to break me off. Mm-hmm. I get it. Mm-hmm. But you can feel it. Mm-hmm. I didn't even feel it. I just felt that, bro, this guy is kind of unstoppable. Just, <laughs> just No, there was no fury. That's a thing. It was almost like yeah. a, he just methodically dismantled me mm-hmm. and then sort of just walked away. And yeah. I was like, yeah, good training. You were like done. Shocked. Shocked. The run has come to an end. <laughs> it's come to an end. But when, when that I, happens, get back on the horse. Get back on the horse. No factor. All right, let's get some Q&A. What do we got? All right, Q&A. Jocko. How would you handle someone that gets mad and walks away or gets mad and will not respond to you when you're trying to? That is a little excerpt of what we are doing on the Jocko Underground podcast. So if you want to continue to listen, go to JockoUnderground.com and subscribe. And we're doing this to mitigate our reliance on external platforms so we are not subject to their control. And we're doing it so we can give you more control, more interaction, more direct connections, better communications with us, strengthen this legion of troopers that are in the game with us. So thank you, it's jockounderground.com. It costs $8.18 a month. And if you can't afford to support us, we can still support you. Just email assistance at jockounderground.com and we'll get you taken care of. Until then, We will see you mobilized underground.